It's all about creating a conversation. Arrow.net, A-R-R-O-E.net. We are unplugged and totally uncut with Ariana Malcara and Christopher Martinez from Warped. Hi, hello. Nice to meet you. How are you guys doing today? Good. So excited to be here. Fantastic. Thank you for having us. I'll, I'll tell you what. The, the show is unbelievable. Warped. It, it, it's like it's it's like action graphics mixed in with reality, mixed in with Nickelodeon. It's everything that we love as viewers all in one place. Yeah, we have a lot of crazy moments in here, a lot of fun, messy things that happen. Um, that's what's really great about this show. There's a lot of action things that happen. Um yeah, and I just love it. We all got really messy through our production. <laughs> Speaking of that, Ariana, you know, I mean, that, you, you, yeah. that's that's got to feel pretty cool to be involved with some of that because the, the slapstick and, and there's even moments there where it looks like you've been slimed and all that kind of stuff. You guys really do look like you're having fun <laughs> on that set. Oh, we, we had an absolute blast. Oh, yeah, we have we have tons of big gags, that Nickelodeon slime. You know, we got to have it. Um, <laughs> lots of action and, you know, boom, crash, pow, all those things you see in comics. We've got it on the show. It's super fun. Uh, you're going to have your eyes glued to the screen. You're not going to want to take them off. You're going to, you know, be sitting at the edge of your seat. You're definitely not going to want to miss work. We're yeah. super excited for everyone to see it. Ariana, you bring up a very good point there because you you don't take your eyes off the screen because your your eyes are being entertained. You actually, this is one of those rare shows that actually puts you in a completely different place, a long way away from reality. Yeah, yeah, no, there's a. It's what's really what's really cool is that it's kind of like the writers did a really cool job with like writing the normal show and then also incorporating like a graphic novel into there and coming up with these crazy like creature terms and different comic book universes. <laughs> so it's kind of cool for the viewers to like see that kind of thing. Um, I think there's a lot of credit there that's due for writing multiple things, not just um, the show, but also these graphic novels, these different made up TV shows that are exist only in the warped world. Um, but yeah, no, it's really cool for the audience to see that. Ariana. Yeah. I, I, just I, going off. I, I'm sorry. Continue, please. I'm sorry. I was just going to go off of what Chris is saying and saying that, you know, like the warp set, just like he was saying, is, is so intricate and filled with so much detail. And, you know, all of these characters love cosplaying and comics and all of these different comic book universes. But the warp universe in itself is also so intricate and fun and filled with so many, so much detail and, 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 and you know, you know extravagance so it's going to be really fun i can't wait for everyone to see it i'm blessed with the opportunity to talk with a lot of graphic authors as well as the artists that put these books together and i think that's one of my main connections with this is the fact that it is exactly what they talk about and the way that you guys bring it to life is just it's absolutely it has to be like a first time event have people talked to you about that Yeah, you know, it's because well, it's, yeah, it's like this comic books and we incorporate all these different things. And I think what a lot of people who know a lot about comic books love about this show is that they can get to see like from a kid's point of view, also from like right. a teen point of view, how they view the comic world. And like also like later on, we have like a special guest, Kevin Smith, who's like filmmaker, <laughs> author, actor, who also owns his own comic book store. He yeah. makes an appearance on the show and it was just so awesome to have him on the show. Incredibly nice guy. And I think that's like what comic book fans really like love about it that they can see people like kevin smith on the show now ariana darby is a fashion a fashion iconic person in her own way because i feel that there's going to be a clothing line come from darby but she's also lending a hand to a lot of people you you are really inspiring a lot of viewers of the future thank you yes i i I love what i love about darby so much you know is that she really, you know, is so unapologetic about cosplaying and this this kind of passion that she has for this fandom. And I think that's really important for audiences to see and young kids to see on a show is, you know, to see somebody embrace all of their quirks and idiosyncrasies, you know, all of those things that make you you, to embrace them and really uh, just be free to be yourself. What I love about our show is that it makes it, you know, normal to be different. And, you know, like she said, she's always there to lend a hand. And she really capitalizes on on what makes her unique and, you know, her individuality to help her friends and to make a difference. Now, when it comes down to it, Chris, one of the things that we are this generation, our YAs, young adults and even those younger than adults, are sitting there and they're going to try to figure out how this show is put together in the way of creativity. This is the creative generation. What does that set look like when you're on it? Is it all green screen? 
No, I surprise like it's real. Like this what? comic book set is real, and we get to see these crazy action figures, crazy memorabilia all over. And uh, I was talking about this with Ariana how like there are real comic books on the set. So in between takes or like in between like rehearsal times, I was usually reading comic books on the set um, and just exploring different pieces of work. And I this was really cool. It's like you get to see these different. Uh, also like these different Easter eggs of like Nickelodeon in the back of the set. So it's cool to get to be there in person. Massive set, definitely always get starstruck whenever I walk onto it. <laughs> Ariana, it, does it inspire you to want to take up storytelling in a graphic novel way? Oh, definitely, for sure. I've always, you know, been into like superheroes and comics and whatnot, but I definitely got more into it when I when I booked the show and started working on this project. Um, I started doing more research about it and really dove in and I just, you know, found out just how awesome it is. And, you know, some people, you know, really put in a lot of work to put in these, to create these intricate cosplays. And it's the absolute coolest thing. I was telling my friends on the show, the cast, that we need to, uh, when it's safe, of course, we need to cosplay together and, and go to Comic-Con. I think that would be so fun. I'm, yeah, definitely part of the fandom and super <laughs> Do it. Well, I guarantee if Kevin Smith has anything to do with it, you will be at Comic-Con. Congratulations on this incredible show. I mean, I'm just so proud of you guys for being a part of Warped. Thank, Thank you so much. We're excited for everybody to see it. You bet. Can't you. wait. You guys be brilliant, okay? Thank you. Pleasure speaking with you.